At approximately 3.30 in the afternoon, 1944, on the 10th of April, the height of the Second World War, three US Air Force B-26 Marauder bombers were conducting training exercises out in the Irish Sea. Cloud cover was below 1,000 meters, and one of the pilots, a Lieutenant Howell C. Osborne Jr., as a bit of a mouthful, managed to get himself off course and going in the wrong direction. And he started to come inland through the clouds heading towards Chimney Rock Mountain. And up there at a quarry, a quarry man was working, whose name I've forgotten, heard the noise of the, the engines approaching, heard them getting louder and louder and louder. And he says that he thought the plane was gonna crash and kill him. And then all of a sudden he just heard the sounds of the engines go away and disappear. Didn't hear a crash, didn't hear anything else, but Lieutenant Hyle crashed just over the top of the summit on the southwest side of the summit, Chimney Rock Mountain, and killed himself and all five of the crew. Today, if you go up there, you can still find bits of the wreckage, and that's what I'm going to do today, among a couple of other things I'm out doing today. There's also an old railway line that was up there that hasn't been used in 70 years or probably more. We'll head on up to the quarry here, and I'll explain a little bit more. Everywhere you go in this area, you'll find buildings and walls and paths made of more and granite. And a huge amount of it came from this quarry here, up from Bloody Bridge, and between Sleeve Donard and Chimney Rock Mountain. Now, the most famous construction probably of more and granite is the Morn Wall. It's an over 22 miles long, uh, wall made of granite that's up to about like seven or eight seven or eight feet high in places It sort of almost follows this like ridge line right around the entire Mourns and encloses this area where the reservoirs are it was originally built to keep animals out of the reservoir, but um, It's a little bit of a um, an achievement to have walked the entire Mourn wall. I've never done it But in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna do a solo overnight fast pack of the Mourn Wall. Before doing that, I might out in a bit of a recce because I'm familiar with probably over 10 miles of the wall, probably 10, 15 miles of the wall. But there's about five miles of the wall I've never, I've never covered. We're gonna head up to the wall, follow the wall all the way down into the Analong Valley. Um, and then I'm gonna come back, climb up the back of Chimney Rock Mountain, try and find that crash site, see if we can still find the wreckage that's there, and then come down back via the old railway line. Here it is. Okay, normally when I come up here, I head straight up that way, up Sleep Donard. But today, today is different for I'm heading this way, following the wall, down into the Analong Valley. One strange phenomenon, phenomenon, which is caused by the Morn Wall, is what I'll call other side anxiety. It's that uneasy thought that on the other side, the trail might be better. The views might be more splendid. There might be less wind, there might be more wind. There might be a water supply, or there might be not a pile of bog. <laughs> Ow! Oh, it's so painful at my little knees. Uh, I'm not walking on the wall, I'm crossing the wall. Yes, on that side, boggy marsh, dry trail. Oh.
Look at that view. Feels like I'm right out of the morns now, having followed this wall down. And this is where this gets slightly confusing and I suspect slightly subjective because if I go just over here, you see this stone structure would seem to like indicate the terminus point, the end point of where the Morn Wall goes in this direction. Just have a look here. Yeah, and at this point, these inferior but no less skillfully built walls <laughs> branch out. Now, on the map, if you check the map, the thick black line, which sort of designated the Morn Wall, heads on down in that direction, but it seems to go into private farmland. So, the route I find seems to indicate I should follow this wall here, down through that forest, out the other side, cross a river, and then up to the Carrick Little Trail. Although what confuses me, if I look, I can see with my eyes there's a trail going this way, not this way. So I'm going to follow the side that's got the trail, see if I can get through the forest, out the other side, and just make it to that path of Carrick Little. Well, I haven't found a route through the forest yet. I did post a request on Instagram to see if somebody knew uh, how I might be able to get in. Uh, how I might be able to get through the forest. Somebody replied, but didn't tell me that, but told me there's a really creepy old house here that apparently is haunted. It's been empty for years, but apparently one dark night, the farmer came up to the house because he was leaving off bales or doing some farmery things, and there was a light on in the window. And he went up, the front door was open, and he walked in. And the fire was lit and the rocking chair was rocking but it was empty so of course i'm gonna go and see what's at the house <laughs> Whew. this does not look at all creepy oh that's a bit weird that's <sighs> I thought I saw a face in that window. <laughs> well, I think I may have found a bit of a trail through the... Oh, ah. What is under that plastic bag? You know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm just going to keep going. There does seem to be a bit of a trail. A bit of a trail. I've gone a little bit the wrong way. I took some directions from some young people who were jumping in the river. This is not quite the kind of trail I had in mind. Oh, but... No. There's a chain. Not sure why this is. I'm bleeding. Oh, that's... Oh, ouch. Scratch. Please track. tell me this just leads straight up to this road. Yes, it's coming out. Let's just retrace my steps. That's it up there, Chimney Rock Mountain. It looks really flat in the GoPro, but it's quite a bit of a climb to do. And I gotta get it done within about the next half an hour because there is a rainstorm on the way. But I would like you to, uh, I would like to introduce you in the meantime to my new friend, Fleecy. Say hi to Fleecy. How are you doing today, Fleecy? Fleecy's a little bit sick. I think he's had the runner. Definitely, definitely not looking very healthy. Alas, per Fleecy, I knew him well. <laughs> I've just realized I've got an audience. <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant no disrespect. <sighs> I'm on my way up. Too many rock now. Clouds are starting to close in. I've taken a bit of a shortcut to try and get onto a trail, which I think should bring me directly to where the crash site is, but with these clouds closing in, oh, I'm over the top of the ridge, and I'm hidden, but I haven't spotted a thing yet. I'm Still haven't found it yet. I went online there. I had a look at some other map coordinates. I think the ones I was using were possibly wrong. It's really closing in now, visibility's disappearing. I've got to get back down to the car within an hour as well, so... Oh, am I going to find it or not? Oh. I 
see something. I think I find it. I mean, somebody's definitely set that up there. It's like someone has assembled a, here a piece of airplane parts. That's crazy. That's just been sitting up here for the last 70 years. So, I'm not even gonna pretend to guess at what that might be. Yeah, so I was looking in completely the wrong place. This is an absolute death trap <laughs> around here. Uh, let me just try and get. Oh. Huh. There you go. The remains of a B 26 Marauder on the 10th of April. 1944. Five people in that plane were killed up here. And in that cheery thought, uh, it's time to go because the clouds are closing in. I need to get over the top of the mountain and see if I can find my way to the disused railway on the way back. I haven't found very much. I've seen other photographs of up here. People have found a lot more parts, but just given the time, I'm going to head on back. If I see anything else on the way back, I'll mention it. But other than that, the next stop will be the old railway. Hi, Doc. Uh, I think this might be one of the sheepdogs. What are you doing down here? I, I think I think your services are required elsewhere. Right, off you go. Go on. Go on, go find the sheep. Be gone! Ooh. Thanks for nothing, lassie. Good. There's old railway line. Let's go take a look. It's be a really good place to trip and break your ankle, but yeah, all that machinery up there is used, like pulley systems used to pull carts up and down this track. Sorry. You hear weird noises in the background. That's a farmer who appears to be furious at his dog or Maybe sheep farmers just always sound very angry and hoarse. I don't know, but I'm getting out of here. Oh, right, that is me back on the track down from the quarry with the yelling sheep farmer. I had planned on flying the drone up there, but given that there's a farmer up there working with dogs, I don't want to disturb the dogs or mess with them. So um, didn't bother, didn't bother with the drone. But that's me back down on the trail and that's just a matter of running back down to the cars. But got some great drone footage. I've scouted a lot more of the Morn Wall that I haven't seen before. And I think it puts me in a much better place to do my, my overnight solo Morn Wall challenge in a few weeks. So if you want to see that video, you can subscribe. You'll get it when it comes out. And if you like this video, have a look around the channel, make videos about the outdoors, running and uh, technology specifically, like drones and small cameras, things like that. But, right, I'm just gonna run down to the car. I'm exhausted, six hours in the trail. It's the longest I've been out in a long, long time. And uh, maybe I'll catch you in the trail sometime, bye-bye.